Hello everybody. In the last two classes we discussed multiplexer and in today's class we shall uh, look at demultiplexer which is also uttered uh, together with decoder though functionally they are different, but the circuit uh, for each of these is essentially same. So, these are the topics that we shall cover and uh, to begin demultiplexer the uh, function of it is just opposite to multiplexer. So, in case of multiplexer if you remember what we uh, had uh, seen that it steers uh, one of the many inputs, one of the many inputs to the output. Okay. So, this is you may consider this is a communication channel which is shared by the inputs whenever they uh, feel like uh, depending on the control input one of the in, uh, data input is getting access to the transmission channel. Now, when it comes to the receiver side, say this is the receiver and uh, this is to be connected to uh, multiple recipients, then there will be a control input to steer it to that input data to one of those recipients. So, this is just the opposite of multiplexing operation. Now, multiplexing was many to one, here it is one to many. So, this is the demultiplexing operation that we uh, have to uh, functionally understand uh, the function of it and realize the circuit. So, if it is a 1 to 2 T multiplexer that means, 1 input and 2 output. Okay. How do you do it? The circuit is similar, similar to what we had done in the case of multiplexer, the similar logic we have to adopt. So, in this case this is the select input. So, when select input is low, okay, we consider that D will be steered towards y naught, the output y naught and when uh, so, at that time what is happening to y 1? If this is low, this is always at 0 and y naught because of this is uh, 0 that is 1, so 1 and d. So, whatever is the value of d goes to the y. So, whenever d changes from 0 to 1, y will also change from 0 to 1 and uh, vice versa. Okay. So, uh, uh, in the case of uh, s being uh, 1, what happens? So, this becomes 0 and get. So, this will be held at 0 and this is 1. So, y will get y 1 will get the d right. So, whenever uh, d changes from 1 to 0, y changes from 1 to 0 and also when d changes from 0 to 1, y 1 will also change from 0 to 1. Okay. So, this is what we understand as the basic circuit. If it is a uh, 2 to uh, 1 to 4 demultiplexer, so, we shall have similar to what we had done, in, we had seen in case of multiplexer uh, design, we shall have two control input, true control input S1 and S0 and amongst them they will be generating S1 prime S0 prime, S1 prime S0, S1 uh, prime, S1 sorry and S0 prime and S1, S0. These four combinations using appropriate number of NOT gates that will be you know generated and they do will be connected to the corresponding so uh, AND gates. Okay. So, there will be four such AND gates with three, uh, three input uh, uh, similar to what we had seen in case of multiplexer. So, this is the basic circuit and uh, again when we work with it similar to multiplexer we shall use we shall be using a block diagram uh, to designate a demultiplexer. So, if it is a 1 to 2 demultiplexer, this is the block diagram. So, S0 is the select input data is going to y0 when S0 is 0 and y1 when it is going to when uh, S0 is 1. Okay. This is clear. So, we extend it to 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So, there will be then two uh, data uh, select inputs S1 and S0. So, when they are 0 0 data is going to y0. 0 1 going to y 1, 1 0 y 2 and y uh, 1 1 y 3. Okay. So, what will be the corresponding uh, uh, so 3 input and gates we have uh, the output of the 3 input and gates how will we write? So, we shall write it in this manner y naught will be s 1 prime s naught prime ended with d okay. and similarly for others and when this is 0 0 s 1 and s naught are 0 0 what is happening y naught is equal to 1 1 d is equal to d and all rest of the cases 
these are 0 all 3 are 0. So, output is change y not output is only changing according to d. Okay. So, if you have got a different uh, combination of the select uh, input, so we shall have uh, y 1 or y 2 or y 3 taking the value of the other other outputs remaining 0. Okay. So, this is can be written in the uh, form of a truth table as has been shown here. So, we now look into one uh, practical implementation of uh, demultiplexer. This is similar to what we had seen in case of uh, uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer. So, IC 74155 is a dual 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So, if we look at this circuit, we can see that the select line is common. So, this is the select line which is common and this is one, uh, 1 to 4 demultiplexer and this is another 1 to 4 demultiplexer. Right? So, this is we can observe and for this uh, we can see uh, the there is a strobe uh, separate strobe and this is another separate strobe that is present and separate data that are present. There is one difference over here, this data over here has got an inverter, this data over here does not have an inverter. Okay? So, this is we take note of and because of which, because of which what we see the output over here can be written if you combine the logic circuit uh, you know these inputs and the corresponding output. So, we can write 1 y naught this is the output over here as b prime a prime you can see this connection going over here this is b prime and this is a prime. Okay. So, this is we write as g 1. So, this is g 1 prime because of the presence of the inverter and 1 c. Okay. So, this is 1 c that is there because of the two inverter that is present here is one inverter another one inverter over there. And finally, the whole thing after this AND gate earlier there was, uh, there was only AND gate at the output here we see after AND gate there is an inverter. So, whole thing is inverted. Okay. So, this is the equation that we get. So, this is for the first case right where uh, we have taken this example with B and A as low and rest of the cases will be B A prime and uh, uh, B prime A uh, 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 the other cases that will be there. Okay. So, this will be sorry 1 y 1 will be b prime a and so on and so forth. Right? Next one will be b a prime and last one will be b a. Right? Okay. So, uh, now how then the truth table will map out? So, we see that when the strobe is at high. So, strobe it is this is at high this is the value over here. So, when the strobe is at high so, that will make this output, this particular output is high means this is 0. So, this is a product term. So, 0 uh, prime is 1 that is high. So, irrespective of the presence of the other value, when strobe is high, all the outputs are high. This is what we can see. Clear? And what we uh, see other than that for normal operation, so this strobe should be low, this should be low. Okay? Now, uh, if we consider this 1 c the uh, input, right? if this input is here low, right? so this is the case that we are talking about. Right? So, again the output will be high for all the cases right? and what does it uh, what is its significance we shall see uh, later and when this is high uh, this is low and this is low and this is selected b prime a prime both are low. So, this is the case the example that we are showing here. So, what will happen at that time the output is becoming low. Now, in this case in this case if c 1 changes from h to l what will happen? The 1 y naught will change from low to high. Right? So, output this output is following the input, but just a inverted manner. Okay. So, output is a inverted version of it. Do you see this particular thing happening? Right. So, similarly for every other cases you will see that when this is selected as low and high right? that is b is low and a is high. So, please correct this one. Right. b is low and uh, uh, a is high. Right. 
then at that time when uh, c1 is uh, high the 1 y1 it gets is getting the low so at that time if you make c1 low so if you make this c1 low so this will go to high we will follow this one over here so it is just following the input 1 y1 for this particular case right 1 y1 is following the input but just a inverted version of it is it clear so similarly for the other inputs for other combinations so this is what we see for the first uh, set of 1 to 4 demultiplexer see the output is inverted in respect to with respect to the input and for this one what we see there is no such inversion present so output is just following the input see you see if you are here it is c2 is uh, low right and then the output is also low if you it becomes high then the output will become high okay so this is just exactly following the uh, output the same way is it clear fine so now we look at Another example earlier we had seen uh, uh, 1 to 4 demultiplexer. So, if you look at uh, 1 to 16 demultiplexer, this is IC 74154. Okay. So, in this case also we have got a strobe input, right. So, this then uh, the basic equation following the same bank of you know AND gates at the output, right. And there is a you can see uh, this is the uh, basic circuit. So, these are the select inputs, right. And the output will be you see the data is inverted here and output is also inverted here. So, basically then output will be following the input. So, whenever input goes low, output will go low and whenever input goes high, output will go high, corresponding output will go, go high depending on the select inputs. right? So, that is what you can see here and of course, similar to previous case, these, uh, this will work uh, uh, properly when the strobe is low. So, the strobe is low, if strobe is high, the irrespective of the selection input or the data input, all the outputs are high. Okay. So, when strobe is low, so if the data is low, right, and if selection is LL, LL, that means uh, ABCD is the first one is getting selected over here, all the inputs are low. So, then corresponding Y naught is becoming low, rest all are high. And if ABCD is 0, 0, 0, 001, LL, LH, low, 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 high, then Y1 is low and all rest are high. Okay. So, this is the way the similar thing what we had seen before 1 to 16 multiplexer also follows the same philosophy and uh, we can understand how it works. Now, if we make strobe is equal to 0, right? strobe is equal to 0 and A is equal to 0. So, strobe is equal to 0 and A is equal to 0, what will happen? What essentially you are looking at? We are looking at only the this part of the truth table, right. Now, depending on the select inputs that is BCD that is present because this is always low, right. So, data will go, data will go, okay, this input data will go either to Y0 or Y1 or Y2 or Y3 or finally to Y7. So, essentially it is a 1 to 8 demultiplexer. So, from a higher order we can always get a lower order demultiplexer by making appropriate choice of the selection input, how you, you know uh, uh, give in, uh, uh, place values to the input side. If we had made uh, A is equal to 1 instead, right, then we would have looked at, we would have looked at this block, right. So, depending on the BCD, the output would have been steered to Y8 to Y15, okay. So, this is the understanding we carry. Uh, from this uh, particular discussion. So, then how to get higher order uh, from uh, lower order demultiplexer? Again, the uh, uh, philosophy is similar to what we had uh, for the case of you know multiplexer, right? Getting higher order multiplexer from the uh, lower order uh, multiplexer. So, here is an example where we see 1 to 4 demultiplexer we get from how to get from 1 to 2 demultiplexer. Okay. So, there are two select lines S1 and S0, right. So, depending on S1, so if it is 0, so D will be steered in this direction, right. So, data is going in this direction and if S0 is also 0, 
So, data will go to this direction, right. So, when S1 and S0 are 0, 0, so D is connected to Y0, D is steered towards Y0. If S1 is 1 and uh, uh, S0 is 0, what will happen in that case? So, S1 is 1, so D will be steered in this direction and S0 is 0, so that means it will be going in this direction, so Y2 will get selected, okay. So, we can understand that using 3 1 to 2 demultiplexer, we can get a 1 1 2 4 demultiplexer, right. So, similar thing can happen for 1 to 8 demultiplexer if we want to get using lower order. So, we have got one uh, 1 to 4 demultiplexer here and another 1 to 4 demultiplexer at the uh, in the cascaded uh, you know final stage second stage and before that a 1 to 2 demultiplexer, right. So, if, if we take S2, S1 and S0 as say 1, 0, 1, just an example, then what will happen? So, S2 is 1, so D is going in this direction, right. So, it, it is coming over here, then 0, 1. So, S1 and S0 is 0, 1, so it will go here, right. So, D will be connected to Y5, so that means D is getting steered towards Y5, is it clear? Right. So, this is how we can get it and uh, if we have in the store only say you know conceptually that only 1 to 4 demultiplexer is present. Okay. So, then this block needs to be realized by 1 to 4 demultiplexer because 1 to 2 demultiplexer is not uh, available with you. So, this can be realized by a 1 to 4 demultiplexer simply by converting a 1 to 4 demultiplexer to a 1 to 2 demultiplexer, one method we had seen before that one of the input we are making low or high. So, this is another example where both the inputs we are making common and connecting it to S2, right. So, if S2 is 0, so it is going uh, here, if S2 is 1, it is going uh, to 1 1 that is the output. So, F0 and F1 will be connected from 1 to 4 demultiplexer, 0 0 output and 1 1 output, okay. And finally, uh, this 1 to 4 demultiplexer, the one that we have seen, we see here can be realized by 3 1 to 2 demultiplexer, the way we had done it before. And similarly, this one also we can uh, realize in that manner. Okay. So, this 1 to 8 demultiplexer can be obtained using only 1 to 2 demultiplexer by here 1, 1 to 2 demultiplexer and this here 3 1 to 2 demultiplexer and here another 3. 1 to 2 demultiplexer. So, 3 plus 3 plus 1, 7 1 to 2 demultiplexer can obtain it by cascading. Okay. This is similar to what we had seen, just the direction is opposite. There we had gone from uh, multiple uh, uh, more number of inputs to one output, here one input to more number of outputs. Okay. Now, we had seen that there is a strobe input available. So, this strobe input can be useful in getting a higher order demultiplexer uh, from a lower order demultiplexer because within the strobe by using a inverter the way we saw here in this uh, example, we can get a 1 to 2 demultiplexer made. The basic 1 to 2 demultiplexer circuit if you remember uh, what we had uh, done before. So, this is the basic 1 to 2 demultiplexer circuit, right. So, S0 is selecting S0 bar D and S0 D, one of uh, these two inputs, uh, uh, outputs is selected. So, similar thing we can employ here, right, where this is the strobe input. So, this particular combination is behaving, this particular combination is behaving like a 1 to 2 demultiplexer, right. So, when A is uh, high, right, so then this is low, so this is the one that is getting selected, this block is getting selected and when A is low, sorry, this is a active low, when A is low, so this one is getting selected and when A is 1, this one is getting selected, right. So, this is the corresponding exam equation, so you can follow this equation. So, basically this A prime now becomes higher order the select line. Okay. So, if this is S 3 
S2, S1 and S0, this becomes your S4, right. So, this is your uh, 1 to 16 and this is 1 to 16 together with this one, we are getting a 1 to 32 demultiplexer. Yeah. So, this is basic IC 74154 equation which has we have seen before. So, strobe okay, we are converting to a select input. Okay. Now, we look at the uh, other example. So, in this particular case IC 74155 uh, is seen. So, IC 74155 we had seen before. In this we had noted that, that the strobe and data input are going to the same circuit over here. Okay. Same uh, this is basically your if you consider this as input A and this is considered as input B. So, this is what you are getting here is A prime and B prime. So, basically whether you exchange A with B and B with A there is no difference. Okay. What I mean from the logic point of view output over here they, that cannot distinguish between A and B. Now, how does it help? So, because of the presence of the inversion over here, if you put strobe as data, if you put strobe as data and this data is strobe, then this inverter which is already present can be used to get a 1 to 8 demultiplexer, 1 to 8 demultiplexer from this to 1 to 4 demultiplexer and we do not need this external NOT gate as we had seen in this example because the NOT gate is already present there. So, how we need to connect? We need to connect this 1 C and 2 C prime you just connect them as uh, the select input the uh, additional select input third select input and the data is connect uh, fed through this stroke. So, 1 G and 2 G we are connecting and we are feeding as data. Okay. So, if you look at this example and this example, so you can you make use of inherent uh, you know presence of the NOT gate inverter in the case of IC 74155 because of the equivalence between these two. Now, this equivalence is uh, useful and uh, we shall uh, look into the next part of uh, uh, the discussion where we are using a decoder. So, this decoder is, is a circuit where the input bit pattern is identified by an appropriate logic and the output will be accordingly activated. So, if you want to decode say A B uh, that is a you know 2 bit that are presented. So, whether 0 and 1 A is 0 and B is 1 such a situation has arised, arisen or not. Okay then how we uh, you know find it out? We can find it out by simply a logic circuit like this. So, if you want to realize uh, understand this. So, A prime B. So, this with this we can figure it out. So, when is A is 0 and B is 1, Y will become 1. Otherwise, it will remain 0. For other three possible cases of A and B, it will remain 0. So, to decode A B is equal to 1 1, we need this kind of circuit. So, if you want to have a circuit which can decode all four possible combinations depending on our requirement we can make use of one or the other. So, we can see we can see inherently the 1 to 4 demultiplexer circuit that we had it is following this you know particular output uh, you know combinations. So, essentially if d is equal to 1 d is equal to 1 in each of these cases this y not y 1 y 2 and y 3 they are actually decoding the select inputs, is not it. So, y naught is S 1 prime S naught prime. So, it is, is equal to 1. So, in this case if 0 0 is present y naught will be 1. So, if y naught goes high then we can say that a 0 0 has been presented right and for any other combinations it will be 0. So, if you want to decode say 1 0 right. So, d is high and if we we, just, we shall just look at y 2. Whenever y 2 goes high, we know that a 1 0 is present. So, this will be the corresponding circuit. So, that is what I said that decoder and um, demultiplexer circuit is essentially same. So, just we have 
made a change in the orientation. So, this select lines now becomes the input line, okay. input uh, you know combinations that need to be uh, uh, decoded and these are the corresponding output and data input we are making high. Okay. So, if there is a strobe, strobe also will shall make active at, at that time, basically it is between a understanding a, a relationship between the select lines and the output in the multiplexer which is converted to data uh, or bit uh, pattern to output in decoder. Okay. So, the IC74154 which is a you know uh, 1 to 16 demultiplexer if you want to make it to make it work like a uh, 4 to 16 decoder. So, what we will need to do we shall uh, as I just discussed we shall make this as uh, active right this is active low. So, that is why it is connected to ground and now it is just decoding the presence of the ABCD. So, uh, this these are the data patterns if 0, 0, 0, 0 is present. So, this is activated if 0, 0, 0, 1 is present this is activated and so on and so forth. And if we want to make a uh, uh, instead of you know uh, 4 to 16 decoder say 5 to 32 decoder. So, the way we had done in case of demultiplexer we shall use the same kind of you know cascading using strobe and data right. So, this is the uh, fifth input by which we can get a 5 to 32 decoder. Okay. So, this is similar to the DMAX concept we had uh, DMAX expansion concept that we had seen before. And finally, uh, while we are talking about you know decoding and steering a output uh, input from uh, one to one of the many possible outputs. So, this decoder can be useful or this particular uh, demultiplexer decoder can be useful in generating multiple output. So, if you are in a uh, uh, looking for in a particular problem multiple output. So, uh, we can make use of a decoder or combination. Okay. So, this decoder so this is an example given. So, 3 to 8 decoder. So, this y naught y 1 to y 7 it is generating actually all the mean terms. So, when a b c all are 0 this will be high y naught will be high is not it. And when uh, a b c is 0 0 1 so y 1 will be high. So, this is nothing but the corresponding mean terms that is getting generated. So, if you want to generate a function, if you want to you know realize a function f 1 which is a uh, sum of mean terms 0 4 6, f 2 sum of 0 and 5 and uh, f 3 sum of 1 2 3 7, what we need to do? These outputs are there okay? and we are just making appropriate or of them. So, 0 4 6, so this one why not? this y 4 and y 6 right and similarly 1 2 3 7 this is y 1 y 2 y 3 and y 7 0 5 y 0 and y 5 and just we are summing them up with a or get multi input or get and the job is done. Okay. So, this is one usefulness uh, of uh, another usefulness of uh, decoder or uh, demultiplexer circuit. So, with this we uh, conclude uh, today's uh, discussion. A demultiplexer steers the data input to one of the many output based on control inputs. With n control inputs, the data input can be steered to up to 2 to the power n outputs. Strobe or enable input of a demultiplexer chip need to be active for usual operation. Higher order demultiplexer can be obtained from lower order and vice versa by appropriate connection. A decoder decodes input bit pattern and activates the output when specific combination is present. Demultiplexer circuit can be made to act as a decoder. For example, 1 to 4 demultiplexer can act as a 2 to 4 decoder and since decoder generates all mean terms decoder or combination can generate multiple outputs by summing uh, the uh, mean terms that is generated out of the decoder. Thank you.